All you? right. Listen, some interesting news from the White House that sunlight can actually damage the coronavirus. I've heard murmurs about this, but they brought out a Homeland Security specialist and he said it out loud. There's an official report. Let's play this. Stand by. And thirdly, the virus dies the quickest in the presence of direct sunlight under these conditions. And when you when you look at that chart, look at the aerosol as you breathe it. You put it in a room, 70 to 75 degrees, 20 percent humidity, low humidity. Uh, it lasts half life is about an hour. But you get outside and it cuts down to a minute and a half. Very significant difference uh, when it when it gets hit with UV rays. OK, that is an official. Sorry, we don't have his name, but he's from the uh, Homeland Security Department. Uh, you got to go over the numbers. This is a big report. But your reaction, the sun damages coronavirus. Well, that would be a very good news for us, right? So you would see this is obviously preliminary data coming from Homeland Security. And what they're saying is that in the experiment where they had this simulated solar system with a temperature of 70 degrees, which hopefully we will see it soon, and 40 percent humidity, the, in, within two minutes, this virus can be dead. This is very good news because, remember, with aerosols and saliva, these, these droplets used to stay on the surface for somewhere between hours to even days. So if that's really true, and we have to wait until we get the final research and, and, and really get the data, uh, if that's true, then this is going to be great because with the summer coming up, the numbers are going down. Interestingly enough, in California and Florida, they're having much lower numbers than New York. So maybe there is some truth to this, but we have to wait a little longer. To get the final data. That's, uh, by the way, that was William Bryan. He is the Undersecretary for Science and Technology at the Department of Homeland Security. It's interesting because President Trump said it a couple of months ago that President Xi told him that this thing might wash away with. 